Hi traders, the market's starting down 0.4% and uh, Caterpillar, Caterpillar is definitely underperforming. So you can see Caterpillar is down 4.7% right now. And it has a very nice technical formation here. These are one minute candles. S&P is coming down. So you expect the continuation to take Caterpillar lower. And even without market support, it could continue to come down. So my first trade is going to be 8,000 shares in Caterpillar. I want to see a breakdown under 119. The lows now it have just happened. About to short, shorting now, 8,000 shares. Now again, the market is coming down, but it's way too early to decide what's the market direction is going to be. It is a Monday morning, nice first move here in Caterpillar. Just uh, broke down nicely. I'm watching the sellers here. You can see that they are currently at uh, 0.75. They need to come down under 50 for me to take a partial. I'm looking for 50 cents, a bit less. Quick partial because first few minutes, I don't expect the market uh, to continue much. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know if the market is going to continue much or not. Look at the sellers here. I want to see them under 50, 60, 40. Good, 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 good. At my target, about to take my partial. Taking now my partial. Okay, first trade in Caterpillar. That was a beautiful trade. Not a big winner, but anyway, I was looking for a 50 cent move here under 119. I got a little bit less than that. I just looked for a quick partial. It's too early to know what the market direction is really is. Now it seems like the market is bouncing a bit and um, Nvidia is relatively strong. As you can see, it started with a gap down and it came down initially and now it's moving higher and it's about to close the gap. And I think I should be going long and I'm going long right now. I'm long 4,000 shares in Nvidia. It has a beautiful uptrend, although the market is a bit down. Nvidia just closed the gap. As you can see, it's uh, at zero approximately now. And then I'm watching the market. The initial five minute candle was down, but now the market is moving up. And again, it's very, very hard to say, especially on a Monday morning, the first 10 minutes really means nothing. But uh, the fact that the market is moving up now, the first uh, candle was down, second candle is up, then that um, suggests that Nvidia that looks stronger than the market is probably going to continue up. The market's still down, gapping down, and we just, just closed the gap. Uh, same thing applies for Boeing. You can see that Boeing is up 0.8%, uh, came down, closed the gap, which is very good because when it closes the gap, it could reverse. Look at the daily here. The daily also suggests uh, Boeing should move higher, back to the intraday, one minute candles, about to go long Boeing. Now, I'm long Boeing 4,000 shares. It looks well. And again, I'm, I'm watching the S&P 500 and the S&P 500 uh, seems like it's moving higher now. You see, the first candle was a reversal candle. Um, the first reversal candle was green candle. And now it all lies with, the, with this candle. Whether it's going to get green or red, I don't know, but I'm long boss. Well, that does not work out. As you can see, uh, the third candle, which I was hoping is going to be a green candle, uh, just turned red. And if the market is going to move under the lows here, then I'm going to get burned in both BA and NVIDIA. Although both of them are outperforming the market, both of them are relatively strong. But the market is now touching a new low and I should get out of my long trades. That does not look good now. Look at what happened just to Boeing. I'm down six grand, over six grand. I'm about to move out. That's a terrible trade. That's a terrible trade. Uh, down six, six grand. And um, if it's going to move down under 152, I should close it. That's a whole number. Maybe it's going to protect me. Look at the buyers here at uh, 152.06 now. If they're going to come down under 152, I should be moving out. I'm down seven grand now. 152, under, 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 I'm out. Well, uh, market just changed direction, came down under the lows. That could have happened, but well, did not expect that. And as you can see, the S&P continues to move lower. And um, again, first 10 minutes of the trading session, you never know what's going to happen. And now look at Nvidia. Nvidia is coming down too. And I was hoping that here 260 will protect me. No, it's under and I'm down like 10 grand and I just closed my trade and I've got two terrible trades in Nvidia and in uh, Boeing. One small winner in Caterpillar, but as you can see here, I'm down $15,000. Very small winner in Caterpillar and two 
very unpleasant lo losers in NVIDIA and Boeing. It's a terrible way to start my, my Monday morning. Watching the S&P, as you can see, we came down quite a bit, but uh, we're very close to the 30 minute mark. And usually on a Monday morning, the 30 minute marks means a lot because there's a lot of open orders from the weekend and so this could be a reversal here so I'm again thinking this green candle here could take me higher so I'm looking for longs now if you look for a long you look for a stock that is outperforming and this way you can see that Tesla is up two percent I'm about to go long going long here four thousand shares uh, Tesla is kind of trending lower but the market is now moving slightly higher and Tesla could move higher without market support Amazon looks great. Uh, look at this 275 area here. I'm about to go long. 2,000 shares. Oh, stop order. Need to change it. Market order now. Going long. 2,000 shares in Amazon. Beautiful reversal. And again, it's outperforming the market. It's up 1.6%. And uh, look at Tesla. Look at Tesla. This is beautiful. Up 14 grand. And I'm going to let it move over the highs because the market is moving higher. So I've got some market support here. And again, I'm not sure the market is going to continue higher. But look at Tesla. Just uh, notice that the market is moving slightly higher and it's about to move over the highs. And oh, and it's going $20,000, $22,000, getting ready for a partial, $27,000, any sign of a pullback. Now, took my partial in Tesla, moved to green territory. That was a beautiful trade. The market just popped up a bit. And Tesla, which is outperforming the market, just did a great job. Now, let's take a look at uh, what's going on with Amazon because Amazon is also quite close to the highs. And I'm up five, six, seven thousand dollars 7000 2000 shares in Amazon. And um, I know it sounds like a lot of money. I don't really care about how much money I'm in. It only matters of how many points I'm, I may be losing. And my risk in, in, in Amazon was around six points. So I knew I was risking around $12,000 and I'm looking for the same or more. And it's going well now. It just touched 9000 or more. Then it's time for pullback now. Took my partial in Amazon too. And again, you know, buying power is all that matters here. Because I've got uh, all my winner, all my winnings in the last um, one and a half month, I made over uh, one million dollars. So I've got uh, twenty to one margin from Colmex. No problem with going long two thousand shares of Amazon. Now take a look at the market. Seems to me like the market is failing here. If you look at uh, what just happened, uh, this reversal candle, which was uh, green, is now turning red, leaving a topping tail, and we could see the market moving under the lows. So I'm, I'm really glad that uh, this green candle that was there earlier took both Amazon and, and Tesla over the highs. And I've got my partials here, and look at uh, the result here. I just moved to green territory. Uh, over $12,000 with two great trades in Amazon and in Tesla. So I'm back to green. Now the S&P did touch a new low, which is quite surprising, but uh, now reverses once more. So I think maybe I should go long once more NVIDIA, which I'm surprised to see that I kept 400 shares. I did not notice that earlier. I'm about to go long another 4,000 now. I am long once more NVIDIA. NVIDIA is doing good. I'm up $4,000. It just moved over the highs, which is quite annoying because, you know, earlier I thought NVIDIA should do it. Took my partial right now. They did not cover my loss in NVIDIA. I thought the market should move higher earlier and NVIDIA finally did good. So here's the end result. I'm up over $20,000 and look at the market. The market just pulled back up exactly at the 30 minute mark. You should know this about the market uh, when we get to the 30 minute mark on a Monday morning. So I've got some uh, great trades going on. Uh, $20,000 and more than $4,000 open. So it's a good start for me on a Monday morning. And I'm really glad that uh, I've, it finally worked out. And again, the most important thing is to watch the S&P 500, especially on a Monday morning when you expect this uh, reversal on the 30 minute mark. I'm still not sure the market's going to go up or down, but I played the market in the direction that it came with and did well. Started red, but uh, turned out to be a very green day. Thank you for watching this video. Before you go, we invite you to take Tradenet's free trading challenge.
If you succeed, you will receive free trading education and access to a $14,000 funded trading account that will allow you to trade from home and keep 70% of your profits. Click here to sign up for this no risk, no cost offer. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.